हेलो एंड वेलकम एवरीवन दिस इज मोहम्मद इजमाम फ्रॉम साई मेदा ईसेट कोचिंग सेंटर कोटी हैदराबाद साई मेदा कोटी हैदराबाद इज प्रोवाइडिंग अ गोल्डन अपॉर्चुनिटी टू ऑल द ईसेट 2024 एंड एज वेल एज ईसेट 2025 स्टूडेंट्स एवरीथे फाइनल ईयर लो उन्नारो एवरीथे थर्ड सेमेस्टर ले इपुड चवतुनारो साई मेदा कोटी हैदराबाद इज प्रोवाइडिंग द ऑनलाइन कोचिंग एंड एज वेल एज ऑफलाइन कोचिंग फॉर इट ranks gurinchi cheppalante sai meda kodi hyderabad lo every single time every single year we have proven that maximum ranks in all the branches ec triple e mechanical civil and computer science lo top 5 branches lo state first rank state first rank tho paatu maximum ranks in top 10 and top 50 lo kuda maximum ranks are there in this video lecture series in the youtube we are going to be updating every single day for all the branches subject wise and as well as topic wise previous eset examination questions will be explained by expert faculties my dear students gurtu pettukondi only previous year competitive examination questions korake separate course untadi pay cheyals untadi baita market lo kani sai meda koti hyderabad lo free of cost we are providing that series guys in this very youtube channel so those who have not subscribed the channel subscribe now and press the bell icon to be notified for the further more updates every day subject wise topic wise previous eset examination questions with which you can understand stand the level of teaching the expertise which is there in the sai meda koti hyderabad so my dear students what are you waiting for start watching all the video series in this youtube channel at the end of the video i'll be coming back to give you a surprise for all the eset 2024 and eset 2025 aspirants so share this video as much as possible for all the final year students and the third semester students now let's start the video now next a steel rod of 1 square centimeter cross section area and 100 centimeter in length with young's modulus of elasticity as 200 gigapascal it is subjected to an axial pull of 2000 newtons the elongation of the rod is okay now let us see this part we have to find out elongation of the rod elongation means we have to find out a delta l so directly we can write the formula over here delta l formula what is delta l formula we are having whenever it is asking about delta l directly we have to write this formula delta l is equals to pl by ae what we have to write the formula pl by ae okay now let us substitute this values what we are having what is p value we are having over here axial pull load 2000 newton so we are writing this part as 2000 okay we have written this part 2000 we have taken after taking this part as 2000 then what we are doing over here into what is l value we are having l value length length 100 cm we are having 100 cm but the centimeter we have to convert into what a mm if you want to convert the centimeter into mm we have to multiply by 10 so it will become 1000 so we are taking this part as what a 1000 we have taken okay now divided by now what else we are having over here a value what is a value we are having cross sectional area 1 square centimeter 1 square centimeter means again what we can take over here 1 square centimeter means centimeter square okay now again what we have to do we have to convert from centimeter to meet mm centimeter to mm so just now from centimeter to mm means we have multiplied by 10 if you are multiplying by 10 means listen here carefully one we have taken we are multiplying by 10 but as we are having square so for this also we have to write square over here okay then only it will become in what a mm square so now what we are having 10 square means 100 so we are getting 100 over here 100 mm square so let us substitute over here area means we are having 100 now next into what is e value we are having e value is equals to giga pascal 200 200 giga pascal now let us see this one what we are having 200 we have taken into giga means 10 power 9 we are having but a pascal pascal means what we are having newton per meter square pascal means what we are having newton per meter square so now we have to convert this meter to mm so newton newton per mm square this meter square we have to convert into mm square so if you are converting from meter to mm means what we have to take 10 cube we have to take na so 10 cube we have taken but as we are having square we have to take square also so 3 to the 6 we have to write in the numerator means 10 power minus 6 then it will become what a newton per mm square okay this part we have taken so now what is happening over here 200 we have taken into uh, 6 6 gets cancer remaining 3 is left so 10 power 3 newton per mm square okay this part we have taken now let us substitute over here so 200 200 into 10 power 3 okay so this 10 power 3 10 power 3 gets cancel this two zeros this two zeros gets cancel again 10 10 gets cancel okay 
now what is left over here this 2 2 gets cancelled so in the numerator nothing is left so 1 divided by in the denominator what we are having 10 okay so it is equals to 0.1 mm so what is the final answer we are getting over here 0.1 mm okay so like this directly we can solve it but compulsory you have to check the units what we are having if you are not checking the units the answer will become completely wrong over here so first check the options what we are having it is given in mm answer so try to write try to substitute the values directly in mm only if you are substituting in the last then it will become somewhat difficult in cancellation also will be having some problems over here so what we can do means in the starting only we are converting the units then we are substituting the values we are getting getting the answer as 0 0.1 mm so elongation of the rod it is equals to what 0 0.1 mm so option 2 is correct now next the deformation per unit length is called now what is the meaning of deformation over here deformation per unit length deformation means what changes Yes or no? Deformation means what? Changes. Whatever the changes we are getting over here. Tensile stress, compressive stress, shear stress or strain. Means deformation means a change in dimension. Okay, change in dimension by original dimension. Means directly this is a, a formula or definition of strain is given over here. So directly let us go with what? A strain. Deformation means strain. Changes we are getting over here. Now next, the ratio of the largest load in a test to the original cross-sectional area of the test piece is called. Now listen again, the ratio of largest load. What is the largest load we are having? As we have discussed the diagram, no? she, uh, means we have taken the diagram, so the stress strain diagram. In that stress strain diagram, first we have taken proportional limit. After that we are having elastic limit. After elastic limit, we have taken yield points, upper yield point, lower yield point. Then we have taken ultimate point also. Ultimate point means what? Maximum stress we have taken over there. The maximum stress, the material or body it can handle. So that, so that is the largest load we are having. After that, it can't handle. So over here also, whenever we are having largest load, means ultimate. Ultimate load we are having. Ultimate load by area. Actually, stress means what? Stress, sigma means what we are taking over here, taking a load by area, like this we are taking. But which load we are taking over here, ultimate load we are taking, divided by cross-sectional area means it will become ultimate stress. It will become what? Ultimate stress. Option 3 is correct. Now next part, the ability of a material to resist fracture due to high impact loads is called. Okay, now listen carefully. Ability of a material to resist fracture due to high impact loads is called. This is the direct definition we are having over here. Directly we can call it as a toughness. Whenever it is resisting the fracture, it is having the ability to resist the fracture due to high impact loads. We are calling it as a toughness. Or as one more definition we are having over here. The energy which is the energy absorbed or stored. The energy absorbed or stored within the elastic limit. If it is within the elastic limit means we are calling it as a resilience. But up to fracture point. Up to fracture, if you are considering all that energy absorption, it will be coming under water toughness. Okay, so either this part is given to resist the fracture due to high impact loads, or else the energy absorbed or stored up to the fracture point. Then also we are calling it as water toughness. Okay, so this uh, option three is correct. Now next, a steel rod of diameter 20 mm is carrying an axial load of 12 kilo newtons if the yield point stress, yield point stress of the material is 350 mega Pascal, what would be the factor of safety? Now we have to find out factor of safety over here. Okay, now let us see this part. Factor, factor of safety. So what is the formula for factor of safety we are having? Factor of safety formula we are having it as yield stress. Yield stress divided by working stress. Yield stress divided by working stress. So yield stress already we are having the value 350 we are having. But we have to find out a working stress over here. Okay. Now let us see this what we are having. Yield stress by working stress. So if you want to calculate working stress over here. Let us see this part. Working stress. Working stress. Working stress means formula what we are having. P by A. Stress formula is P by A. It is equals to. What is P we are having over here? Load. What is load is given? 12 kilo Newton. 12 kilo Newton means. Uh, let us try to write in Newtons only. 12 into kilo means we have taken 10 cube. Divided by. Okay. Now area. What area we are having over here? What area? 
what area we are having means if you are not having the area diameter is given what is given diameter let us write over here diameter so if you are writing this diameter is equals to diameter is equals to 20 mm okay let it let let us uh, take this diameter in 20 mm only okay now let us do one thing over here uh, area let us write the area formula so if you are writing the area formula pi by 4 pi by 4 into d square d means what we are having over here 20 square okay we are taking in mm only no need to change that part we'll do we'll do it later now let us simplify this what we are getting so this 4 will be goes to the numerator only 12 into 10 cube we are having into 4 then again what's the meaning of pi we are having pi means 22 by 7 22 by 7 means again it is coming over here only okay into 20 into 20 okay like this we have taken so if you are simplifying all this part if you are simplifying all this cancellation doing cancellation over here this 0 0 gets cancelled 2 zeros gets cancelled then 2 twos are 4 this 4 gets cancelled then next to what we are having over here uh, if you are cancelling with the 2 2 6 are this part will become 2 11 are okay like this all these cancellations we are doing then 6 7 are 42 uh, then this part 110 we are having over here 420 by 11 so it is equals to 38.18 okay like this answer we are getting over 38.18 now what we have to do we have to substitute over here now in this uh, what we have taken this stress this is stress we have taken this part as newton per this answer we are getting it as newton per mm square okay but this yield stress value what we are having yield stress yield stress value we are having it as 350 mega pascal so 350 we have written as it is mega means what we are taking into 10 power 6 and pascal just now we have taken over here pascal pascal means we have taken it as newton per meter square okay this part newton newton per meter square from newton per meter square if you want to convert into newton per mm square then what we are taking 10 power minus 6 okay so over here also let us take it as 10 power minus 6 only if you are taking 10 power minus 6 over here into 10 power minus 6 then it will become newton per mm square okay so what will happen this part this part gets cancelled 350 mega pascal means it is nothing but newton per mm square now let us substitute over here yield stress means how much we are having 350 newton per mm square divided by working stress how much we are having over here 38 38.18 so it is equals to so after dividing this after dividing this we will be having so you have to take no need to go for complete division also you have to check the options what we are having so 2 3 6 9 is given if you are cancelling this part so it will be approximately like it will be approximately like 9.1 uh, 6, uh, 7, okay, like this approximate answer will be there. So, 9 we are getting means, uh, let us go with fourth option. Fourth option is what? Uh, 9. So, factor of safety, how much we are getting over here? 9. So, no need to go in detail about that part also. First, we have to check the options. According to the options, we can go with that part, okay. Fourth option is correct. Now, next question. The principal stresses at a point uh, in a triaxially loaded member uh, 50 mega pascal, 50 mega pascal we are having tensile, 80 mega pascal we are having compressive and 150 mega pascal we are having again compressive. What is the maximum shear stress? Okay, let us write over here. So, sigma 1, sigma 1 is equals to plus, tensile means plus we have taken 50 mega pascal. Okay, and sigma 2, sigma 2 is equals to as we are having compressive over here, let us take it as minus 80 mega pascal. Okay, now next sigma 3. Sigma 3 it is equals to minus 150 again mega pascal. Okay, sigma 1, sigma 2, sigma 3 like this we have taken. Now maximum shear stress means already I have told you maximum shear stress we have written one formula over here. Maximum shear stress we have written one formula. What is that formula we are having? See this part. Sigma 1 minus sigma 2 by 2 or else maximum minus minimum by 2. Okay, we are having this formula. So, maximum minus minimum by 2, if you are taking that part, let us see this one. Maximum minus. So, tau max. Tau max it is equals to maximum. 
maximum minus minimum sigma 1 minus sigma 2 now maximum minus minimum by 2 it is equals to now what is maximum value we are having over here maximum stress plus 50 we have taken 50 minus now what is minimum we are having minus 80 minus 150 so minus 150 will be minimum so we are taking this part as minus 150 this part we have taken divided by 2 which is equals to now what we are getting 50 okay minus into minus plus plus 150 divided by 2 okay which is equals to 50 plus 150 means what 200 200 divided by 2 which is equals to 100 okay 100 mega pascal what is the answer we are getting over here 100 mega pascal directly we have substituted the maximum value and minimum value so we are getting the answer as what 100 mega pascal okay so let us go with the third option what we are having now next question the ratio of lateral strain to the linear strain lateral strain to longitudinal strain we can also call it as a longitudinal strain also lateral strain to the longitudinal strain then it is called as what a poisson's ratio direct answer direct term we are having over here poisson's ratio it is denoted by mu or 1 by m okay mu or 1 by m it is equals to what we are having over here lateral lateral strain lateral strain divided by linear or else we can call it as longitudinal longitudinal strain okay this part we have taken now suppose if you substitute if you are sending this longitudinal strain over there what will happen lateral strain lateral strain it is equals to mu into longitudinal strain Okay, like this we are having lateral strain is equals to mu into longitudinal strain. Okay, so direct formula we are having over here ratio of lateral strain to the linear strain or longitudinal strain it is equals to what a Poisson's ratio. So fourth option is correct. Now let us go with the next question. When a bar of length L and of uniform cross sectional area is subjected to gradually applied load P then the strain energy stored in a bar is. Okay, now what is the formula for strain energy we are having? If you are taking the formula for the strain energy U, it is equals to we are having half into load, half into load into extension, half into load into extension. If load value and extension value is given directly, then we can use this formula. Okay. Now, if you are going for simplification for this, we are having another formula as a U is equals to sigma square V divided by 2E. Okay, we are having this formula also sigma square v by 2e but we are not having the sigma value sigma part is not given in the options in case of sigma let us try something else over here sigma is equal to what we are having the formula p by a so sigma square is equal to what will become p square by a square okay let us substitute over here so u is equal to in the place of sigma square we are writing p square divided by 2 we are having a square into e okay now again volume volume means what we can write volume is equals to area into length volume is what we are writing area into length so let us write over here area into length so this 1a 1a gets cancelled now what we are getting the answer p square l p square l divided by a e okay this part we are getting the answer over here okay so what is the answer we are getting p square l by 2 a e p square l by 2 a e means uh, fourth option is correct now next next question let us see over here if a body is subjected to stresses in xy plane uh, with the stresses of 60 newton uh, 60 newton per mm square and 80 newton per mm square acting along x axis and y axis respectively also the shear stress acting is 10 newton per mm square find the inclination of the plane in which shear stress is zero okay now we have to find out inclination means a theta so we are having one condition over here for shear for maximum shear we are having the condition tan 2 theta tan 2 theta is equals to sigma 2 minus sigma 1 divided by 2 tau okay this is a formula most important formula we are having in the topic as principal planes principal stresses and principal strains okay this part we have taken tan 2 theta is equal to sigma 2 minus sigma 1 by 2 tau so now what we are doing means sir, tan 2 theta tan 2 theta we have written as it is it is equals to what is sigma 2 value we are having sigma 2 is equals to 80 okay 80 minus sigma 1 value how much we are having 60 80 minus 60 divided by 
2 into tau value. Tau means shear stress. It is equal to what? 10. 2 into 10. 2 into 10 we have taken over here. Okay. So, which is equal to 80 minus 60 means 20 divided by how much we are having? 20. 20, 20 gets cancelled. So, we are getting the answer as tan 2 theta is equal to 1. So, if you are taking, now listen carefully, tan 2 theta, tan 2 theta it is equals to 1 we have taken. If you are sending this tan to the other side means now what we are getting over here, 2 theta is equals to tan inverse of 1. Tan inverse of 1 means in tan values when we are getting 1 means 45. So, we are taking this part as 45 degree, 45 degree. Then theta value is equals to 45 degree divided by 2 which means theta it is equals to 22. If you are dividing this part, what we are getting? 22.5 degree. 22.5 degree. So, one inclination, uh, one inclination we have already done over here. Now, what we have to find? Find the inclination of the plane in which a shear stress it is equal to 0. Means whatever this already we have discussed over here, this part. In this, we have discussed this one. Whenever we are considering the principal planes, if you are considering the principal planes, means uh, what is the angle between two principal planes we are having? 90. What is the angle between two shear planes we are having? 90. So, over here also, we are using the same concept. Uh, instead of finding another value, instead of finding another value, what we are doing means, as we have got one value, so let us take this part as 22.5 degrees plus 90 degrees okay plus 90 degrees which is equals to how much we are getting over here 112 112.5 degrees okay so this is one value we are having this is another value we are having over here okay so let us go with the fourth option okay let us go with fourth option and don't do this mistake over here tan 2 theta we are having if you are taking only tan theta if you are taking only tan theta then the answer will become 45 degrees that will become wrong so what we are having the formula tan 2 theta we are having if you are having tan 2 theta then the answer is becoming what 22.5 degree then if you are going for another plane it will be what a plus 90 so 112.5 degrees okay we are having fourth option now, let us see the next question. In case of biaxial state of normal stress, the normal stress, the normal stress on 45 degree plane is equal to, till now it has been asked related to maximum shear, shear stress has been asked, but it is asking now normal stress, normal stress means what we can write over here, sigma n it is equals to sigma 1 plus sigma 2 by 2, I am writing the formula for normal stress over here, okay. So, sigma 1 plus sigma 2 by 2 plus sigma 1 minus sigma 2 by 2 into cos 2 theta into cos 2 theta this is a formula we are having now what is theta value is given over here theta value is equal to 45 degrees if theta value is equal to 45 degrees 2 into 45 2 into 45 is equal to how much 90 so cos 90 is equal to 0 cos 90 is equal to 0, 0 into this complete part will become what? 0. So, what is the answer we are getting over here? Sigma n is equals to sigma 1 plus sigma 2 by 2. Okay. So, this is the answer we are getting over here. Okay. Now, let us see, uh, check the options what we are having. Sum of the normal stresses means sigma 1 plus sigma 2. Half of the difference of the normal stresses. Half of the difference of the normal stresses means this part we have taken over here. Okay. Now, difference of the normal stresses means uh, sigma 1 minus sigma 2. Half of the sum of the normal stresses means uh, sum sigma 1 plus sigma 2 half means divided by 2. So, as we are getting this answer, sigma 1 plus sigma 2 by 2. So, let us go with the fourth option. Okay. Fourth option is correct. Now, next one. The relation between Young's modulus and bulk modulus is given by. Okay. Is given by. Already I have given you three relations over here. First relation is E is equals to, e is equals to 2G into 1 plus mu. Second relation we are having it as E is equals to. 3k into 1 minus 2 mu we are having and third relation is E is equals to 9kg divided by 3k plus g okay like this we have taken over here all these three relations we have taken but it is asking the relation about uh, second relation okay bulk modulus and uh, Young's modulus this relation but this exact part it is not given over here exact part is not given. So, let us try to find out over here in the terms of E over here. Suppose if you are if you are ch making changes in this. So, what we are getting means uh, 
uh, what we can write over here 3m if you are sending this complete part over here means 3mk minus 2k divided by 3 it is equals to e it is not looking like this part actually okay if you are splitting the denominator also it is not becoming that formula or is license ratio in the place of mu it is given 1 by m over here so if you are making changes in this formula if you are making changes in this formula means it can become e is equals to 3k will be as it is 1 minus 2 it is 1 by m means 1 by m it should be like this it should become this formula okay so we are not getting any similar concept over there related to that part so option 1 is wrong over here now second option again uh, if you are taking e if you are sending e over here then it will become what e is equals to 3m minus 3 twos are 6 divided by um, mk mk it is also not looking like that formula actually okay now third one third one if you are going over here means then again e we are sending over here e is e, sorry e is equals to e is equals to 3m minus 2 3m minus 2 divided by mk okay again it is not looking like that formula now we will we'll try to send this part what we are having okay so this is 3m 3m minus 3 to the 6 so what is happening now k we have written as it is and this is 3m minus 6 we are having it is equals to e means divided by m we have taken divided by m we have taken over here if you have taken divided by m now what will happen let us check this part okay suppose if you are taking 3 as common if you are taking 3 as common means what will happen 3k it is becoming 3k and we are uh, splitting this denominator if you are splitting this denominator means m by m minus already we have taken 3 as common so over here 2 is left 2 divided by m it is equals to e okay so this mm gets cancelled so now what we are getting the answer 3k we are having outside and this will become what 1 minus 2 by m okay which is equal to what uh, e so now we are getting the exact formula so sometimes what will happen means it will be given the exact formula or it's like this changes changes will be given so we have to find out uh, which which option will be correct uh, according to our relations what we are having okay so let us go with the fourth option first second and third option is wrong let us go with the fourth option fourth option is correct k is equal to m a by 3 of uh, m minus so my dear students for ESET 2024 and ESET 2025, Sai Medha Koti Hyderabad is providing maximum concessions in this very week. Offline students gawachu, online students gawachu, online plus offline students gawachu, morning batches, evening batches, day batches, full day batches, online courses with materials. Gurinchi, Sai Medha Koti Hyderabad in this very week guys, in this very week only, we are providing the maximum concessions. A concessions evete unnayo, concessions evete unnayo, batches evete unnayo, with materials, without material, online coaching, total me ke doubt unna sare. A concessions maximum me unnai. Ante manaku mobile numbers ekada scrolling lo already evadam jargindi. So scrolling out unna mobile numbers ki contact cheyendi and join in the Sai Medha Koti Hyderabad as soon as possible. Don't miss this opportunity of getting the maximum concessions, guys. Thank you very much. In this video series, every single day we are going to be updating subject wise, topic wise, previous ESET examination questions. I wish you all the best. This is Mohammed Inzamam signing off.